Hey everybody, welcome back to Game Boat Station. We are playing a very special old game of mine. Uh, Jared, what is it? It's God of War 1. Mm. Or as it's called right here, God of War TM. Tim. It's called God of War Tim. Anyway, so yes. We see Tim on the screen. That's his face right there. Yeah, secretly. Uh, his alias is Kratos. Yes. And he's, he's feeling pretty hot right now. It's pretty hot. It's actually summer now. Let's get yeah. started. Uh, we're gonna play very hard. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna do normal. Nice. I already unlocked everything. Why would I do that? Gods of Olympus yeah. have abandoned me. Oh, uh, don't say that. I'm sure they're just getting coffee. Oh. Speaking of which, mmm, coffee. Mmm. Tea. <sighs> Pre render oh. scene. I mean, that's a nice view, Kratos. I mean, look at it. It's a bunch of clouds. Now there is no hope. Oh, don't say that. The clouds are very nice. Kratos Crit cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. Yes, speak to us, lady whose na whose After actual identity I'm not gonna ruin. Ten mm. years of endless nightmares. No, it's just a narrator. Yeah. I always liked her narrator voice. Death well, yeah, actually, I think she was a pretty big. I, I forget the name of the actress, but she she's definitely one of those veteran actresses. Hmm. Who have been like on some BBC shows, I think. Ooh. Or things like that. That's cool. Three weeks earlier in the IGN Sea. Aegean. Oh, yes, I shall. Anyway, folks, this is one of my favorite games. Actually, a friend of mine in high school introduced me to this game. Mm -hmm. I had like very little opinion on it because I was just like, cool, whatever. And as soon as I play down, like this is fun. Oh yeah, so you're you're the one that got me into God of War. Yeah, I got, I'm just trying to remember how to play. I turned off the tutorials. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh well, that works out. Right. Okay, that's good. Okay. I was just trying to figure out where to keep my fingers. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing you always said you wish Legend of Zelda would do, right? The whole if you know what you're doing, turn off tutorial option. Yeah, like a veteran mode. Yeah. No, that's not to say for like Breath of Wild because that's. Uh, a whole new kind of thing in and of itself. Yeah. Come here! Oh yeah, I forgot he had the stabby throw in this. I mean, he kind of had variants of it in other ge in the future games, but this one he has the oh the stabby throw. Tear you apart. Nice. Yeah, this game was pretty fun when it first came out. What's cool is that as each title started to come out, they just polish the controls more and more. Yeah. So it's essentially what you got with just like more features, more enemies. Just all kinds of fun little things to be stylistic. Oh yeah. Not to mention you just fight more and more like hordes of undead and other like Greek Grecian like <laughs> freaking uh, Grecian. I never heard that before. I think I believe Did you it's mean a, Greek? it should be a term. It's the same thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you don't call them, like, the Englanders, you call them the English, you know what I'm saying? The English, the British, the French, the oh, right, Yeah, Martin. you don't call the French the baguette people, they find that offensive. That's super racist. Like the shoe! <laughs> Whee! Ooh, press R2 to hold. Oh, yes, we need Oh, what does that do? Oh, it pops that open like a baller! Yep. I don't know what it is. There's something just so satisfying about that in every single God of War game. You just go up, you just walk up to a giant stone or metal or whatever have you chest. He just like does a thing and then pops it open. Yep. So good. Hey, L1, L1, why do we have to block? Why would I ever want to do that? Oh, that's. Oh, why. God! It's a Hydra thing. Yeah, it is. Look at those blue turquoise eyes. They're glowing with the hatred of Woo! something. Nice block. Oh shit. I like that they set it up where it totally makes you think that's just like a serpent. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because you only true. see one head right now. They're like, oh, okay, well, But uh, considering how old this game is when did this come out? The I original, want, I mean. I wanna say two thousand two or three. Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe Oh, that's a good question. Check it. Maybe. Actually, yeah, I will. Ch yeah, check your phone. Oh shit! Oh shit! I screwed up. I gotta pay attention. Oh right. I. How did I forget about this? Oh, quick time you guys. <clears throat> yeah. I actually really like them. It's kind of a mixed bag for a lot of people, but I don't mind them. Yeah, a lot of people. 
I mean, it comes down to the whole argument. It's like, do you prefer the gameplay or, like, watching cutscenes and stuff? Yeah. And the way I've always justified cutscenes is they're kind of like a reward for doing a good job playing the game. Mm-hmm. And this is like, yeah, it rewards you with, like, little mini games and shit. Oh, there we go, kids! It's more mini time! Triangle! Triangle! And fuck you! Oh, it debuted in 2005. 2005, okay. I knew it was an odd number. Oh god. Oh, right. I forgot they had you do like a tightrope thing right You know what's here. funny? In uh, Chains of Olympus, the mm -hmm. first PSP game, Yeah. they only made you do this once, and that was at the very beginning, and never again did you have to do it, like, mm. ever. Right. And the thing I never liked about these is, like, so how damn precise he has to be. Oh, yeah. But luckily it's not too bad. It's just... Know, a little tedious. Yeah. Cool. There we go. At least you can skip it, yep. actually. And there you get the hint that, oh, yeah, it's... Well, actually, no, it still kind of makes you away. think, oh, it's a bunch <laughs> of serpents. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's a group of them. Open this door. I know who you are, Spartan. I know what you've done. I would rather die than be saved by you. All right, fine, whatever. It's your funeral. All right, douchebag. Fine. Die. Have fun. Ah, more red orbs. Nice. So for those who don't know, red orbs allow us to level up certain things. There's a little of that RPG element in there. And once we get more stuff, more powers and shit, we can use red orbs to become even stronger. Upgrades. Oh, it's harpies. Yep. Actual harpies. None of that uh, harpy lady Yu-Gi-Oh nonsense. No, not yet. Well, yeah, not yet, but still. So much cool Greek shit that we get to have. Oh. That we get to kill, and maim, and cut into pieces. Fuck and do you. that too. Oh, yeah, by the way, folks, this is a rated M game, so you will see a lot of blood and some nudity as well, because they are happy. Like that, oh, for example. Wow. Oh, they're gonna rip him up. Yep. yep, they ripped him apart, pal. Yep, they ripped him good. Now, we could save these people, or we or could we just kill them for green them orbs. for health. Can I grab this guy? Yeah, I can. Yeah, you can. Fuck him up! <clears throat> Everything must be cut and slashed and ripped apart. Oh, sorry. Oh, we, to grab. we shipped the guy. Yeah, sorry. And then we healed from him. Yay! It's like Monday at the office. Oh, sorry. It's I'm like Monday him. at the office again. Oh, so much carnage. Gonna tell you a new one. Remember when they threw him into Mortal Kombat 9? Oh yeah. That was a trip. That was pretty And wasn't bad either. Oops. He was fun. Remind me, 10 is when they did the like three different ways to play thing, right? With Mortal Kombat. I'm not sure what you mean. Can Ma you uh, remember when in 10, like, when you went to pick your character, they had three different styles of play. Oh hey buddy! Remember that? The three uh, different styles of play for each, like, character? I and you picked one and that's the move set you had? Yeah. That was only in 10, right? I think so. I don't quite remember that. I don't remember it being in 9. The only thing I remember about 9 is that it let you have, like, two-on-two -two battles. A bit like two characters. Oh, yeah, and, and you could swap between. Yeah. Which was a fun selling point for 9. I don't know what it is about 9, though. I think it was some of the controls I didn't like. Because I think they polished it in 10. And that's why I had a lot of fun with 10. And that's also why I've been having a lot of fun with Injustice 2. Well, I think the thing is about 9 is mm -hmm. that it was kind of like a reintroduction, a revitalization of the Mortal Kombat series. Yeah. So they were kind of trying to find their footing. Like, okay, we're returning to the 3D game format. We had Mortal Kombat vs. DC first. Let's take some elements from there and, like, make some exclusive, like, Mortal Kombat mechanics. Yeah. To call our own. <laughs> and it was fairly <clears throat> successful. Uh, there were some graphical issues, like, some of the women looked really weird. Mm hmm That's to be expected. Yeah. And there were a lot of fun mechanics with, like, the x-rays and shit, because that was new. Oh, yeah. 
The x-rays are really fun. I've always had fun watching the x-ray attacks. Like, they're brutal and everything, but, like, they're not that bad. I definitely, I, I kind of think that when people see those, they're like, oh my god! I think they're kind of overreacting just a little bit. You know, it's funny, actually, Ivan gets queasy looking at those. Really? It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, poor Ivan. Yeah, that's all good. Anyway, looks like we got rid of that guy for now. Let's see yep. if we can salvage some things in here. Nice, Ooh. it's a chest. Oh, I keep thinking circles open. Actually, later well, they, on, circle became yeah and open. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's another chest. Did it? Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, now we go down here. Oh yeah, you could swim in this. Yes, you can. I completely forgot about that. Only because we get something later, and it be kind of just becomes another part of the game. It does. But until then, well... Hey, more undead guys! Let's kill them all! Time to slice them up. Like a turkey. Like a turkey. Like a turkey. It's I done. <laughs> I thought those two guys are basically like, Hey! Stop wrecking our boats! We need to get home! Well, they're gonna have to do it without me for now. Oops. Yeah. Come on, get up there, Kratos. Kratos, please. Tightrope like a Spartan. Like a Spartan? The best of the tightrope whopper uh, uh. Whoppers? Yes, the tightrope whoppers. Uh, the tightrope whoppers. This episode is sponsored by a nasty ass Burger King. Burger King. Uh, if don't more, eat. If, nah. Don't eat fry. <laughs> That's the slogan. The, oh, God. Did you see the, uh, like, the, um, the Twitter... Interaction between some dude and like Wendy's a while ago. Oh no, tell me about it. Basically, um, you know how Wendy's has that f that f that slogan they've been doing now Oops. where shit. Oh, my first death. Yep. Where um, they say like never frozen beef. Yeah. Well, the guy was like, you can't, you can't serve. How do you serve it then? Is it just raw meat that you cook? What the hell or whatever? And like the person or whoever that runs the. Twitter account for Wendy's is known for being kind of a kind of a troll in a way and that yeah. they'll like joke with people if they like mess with them. Oh yeah, we know all about that with Game Grumps. Remember those guys? Yeah. They love Aaron loves his Wendy's. Oh yeah, he does. He's he's just like, I'm an influencer! Call me at blah 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 blah. I gotta give it pops him is like some of the videos that he posted, they just like went to <laughs> I'm sure he was going for a conference or something like that. Yeah. But so it was hilarious just him like I think the first one was him just in front of the Wendy's thing doing like the crash at Nintendo thing where he's like, Love me, Wendy's, love me or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh there you go. <laughs> Yeah, that was always fun. Ooh. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, sorry, said that too early. Cuts. Oh. Okay, there we go. Hey, buddy, what's up? Flaming arrows or just glowy the arrows? Visions, they were real. The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late. We're pinned down. And that's when we finally find out, technically, that it's a Hydra. They came from nowhere. Oh, uh, that's true. The are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you. Is it now? Well, I did get hit by an arrow. The kind of funny irony there oh, is oh, he. Oh, I think he got the point. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's save this. You could tell from the way his face <coughs> quivered. In fear. Yes. Oh, yeah, my data. We better remember this. Okay, we're all, <laughs> all the way right. over there. All the way to the right. Wow, Good I didn't know. even check the save data. If we had full slots, I'd be like, well, we're not taking this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think those are exploding arrows. I think so. But pretty much what we gotta do is take this thing and bring it all the way over there. Now, the trick thing is about this is if it hits it enough times, it breaks. So we don't mm. want these fuckers to hit it. Right. Hence why they gave you the kicking thing. Yeah. Because it's essentially the quick uh, hit or the quick movement. Yeah. I remember you had to tell me that when you let me yeah, see, fucking pr We can't kill them yet, can we? No, we have to reach them. Ah, one of these puzzles. Oh, a staple of the olden time. Well, the kind of olden times 12 years ago. Oh, yeah, that is real. 
Kind of is, yeah. You know, I remember a long time ago, I'm not sure if you mentioned this, but apparently there was talks of, like, the God of War movie. Now. Yeah. And I forget who were the guys who were originally pending the script. Mm-hmm. But, uh... They were trying to find a way to, like, make Kratos more relatable as a character, despite right. his usual friend story. Yeah. Guess they never found it in time. Anyway, tune in next time, folks, when I reach these guys. Actually, I don't think the boss got hit at all. No, it didn't. You did really good on that. Yeah, it's, a little, it's a little random. <clears throat> mm -hmm. To be contained, everybody. Aye, as we play the more God of War. Anyway, hang on. I said it. <laughs>